Hello guys, this is Adam and this is the Omni book with a Snapdragon Plus X or X Plus and this is the 14 inch laptop. I am really excited for this one because this one represent the Windows side of the ARM chip in comparison to the MacBook Air for example or the MacBook Pro with the M series of chips such as M1, 2, 3 and 4 and M5 is very soon coming up which I will be doing reviews for as well and I would like to see how the performance would be for this one with a blender for example and is it as good as the M series chips for example we will see so we will go ahead and open the box and this is the box thus far and with the laptop we do have simply the charger so this is what you get in terms of the charger cable this is what you get in terms of the charger itself which is a very small charger that has USB-C because this is an ARM chip so I'm not surprised that the charging is only with USB-C with that being said this is actually very light so I'm excited to see what this is about so I'm gonna take these off and then we have the laptop right here so let's go ahead and get it out and see how it looks like it's very light so i'm excited to see yo th <laughs> wow this is beautiful especially for a windows laptop this is beautiful the size is amazing if from a first impression this is how a laptop should be in terms of a presentation when you present it for the first time it should be this sleek color is the glacier silver i believe it's called and holy cow this is amazing by the way this is not sponsored in any way everything that you see i buy with my own money and then review so there's that and let's go ahead and open it okay there is this black thingy right here that's nice all it is a glossy and right away it's turning on this is a beautiful i like what i am seeing the keyboard is really nice and the whole device is actually really nice i like what i am seeing there is omni 5 right here and there is this sticker right here which definitely will be removed this sticker probably this would stay this is a decent sticker that says snapdragon x a plus and just a moment the device went right away and turned on and right now it's doing its thing so i am very excited for that this is actually looking really nice thus far and holy cow we are already in one this reminds me when you get a macbook for the first time a macbook air or whatever that might be as soon as you open it it will turn on and get you right away to go ahead and set up the machine and i think they took there you go windows a plus control a plus enter so we turned off the, narr the narrator <laughs> as i was saying this machine reminds me a lot of how a macbook air or a macbook presentation would be when you first open it for the first time the trackpad is nice this is actually like just a, from a first impression type of deal this is one of the few machines where i am thinking you know what probably i'm gonna get a machine like that for myself so let's go ahead and set it up and then we get to the part where you need to do windows setup where you have to be connected to the internet here what we do is shift 10 when we do shift 10 we get this basically what we do is caps locks on so as you can see caps locks are on right here and the light is on the keyboard is excellent holy cow i'm gonna probably end up getting the same machine just with better specs overall because this is amazing so we're gonna do o o b e then backward the slash pi pass and then after bypass we're gonna do N R O. O as in October, O as in October, B as in boy, E as in egg, backward slash, and then by B 
B as in boy and Y as in yellow, then pass. B as in Peter, A as in apple, S as in Sam, S as in Sam, then N, R, O, N as in Nancy, R as in Rio, and O as in October. Then we hit enter, and as soon as we hit enter, this actually will restart. So right now it's restarting, and as soon as it finishes restarting, it will actually log in again and when it logs in again we will not have to do the sign in thingy again we can just go in and then we will be good to go so we are into windows again and from here we're gonna go and then choose yes united states and then we're gonna choose yes us and now we are here again and this time we have an option that is saying i don't have internet as you can see right here we can actually this time click on it and then we would go to agree to the terms that's the only way that we can go forward then here you would set up the name for the device that you want and after setting up the name here you would do a password for me i do not want a password so i'm just gonna go ahead and click enter and then here with the diagnosis and the location and all that fun stuff my personal information is very valuable so they will get nothing out of me so basically everything is turned off then we will hit accept and continue and here if you want to register the device since this is an hp device usually it will ask you to register the device we will skip that and right now the device is opening for the first time getting things ready for you after the beautiful high and holy cow i cannot get enough of this display this is beautiful and right here we have the machine open for the very first time and it's ready to go as well so basically what we're gonna do is we are going to connect to the internet first and really quick i would like to do this is a quick test for the keyboard to see if the keyboard is working or not and wow i love that keyboard the travel distance is nice the feedback when you are clicking and then pressing things is really nice it feels very premium and i like it dare i say i like it more than the macbook air and the macbook air was the keyboard that i like the most honestly good job hp and that's something i do not say as much as i should probably one thing i would like to bring to your attention while i am downloading blender there is actually an arm windows installer for a blender so basically if you are getting this machine for a blender then there is an arm version that is uh, supported and available so there is that this is the audio and the display is out of this world this oled is mesmerizing wow so far is nothing but positive pleasant yes this is the honeymoon phase and this is my first interaction with it however the display is really nice the music and the audio both excellent and you are listening to some of the audio right now and this is actually really good Give it a listen for like five seconds. This is actually really good. And yes, I picked this uh, just to showcase how beautiful the display is. What the? <laughs> Six gigabytes radio. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's a very very good start 6000 megabytes and the right we are looking so far at 3800 so closer to 4000 which means 4 gigabytes this is still excellent so what we are looking at at the very end is 6298 closer to 6300 megabytes for read which is insane and we are looking at 3839 which is closer to 4 gigabytes 4000 megabytes for write this is excellent like if you are a student this is way more than you need to get your files transferred and all of that like this is insanely good okay so here we are at to blender and we're gonna go ahead and go to preferences and then from preferences 
we are here at settings and then we do have OpenGL and probably that's what we need so we're gonna go ahead and then do a quick render and then see so we have cycles and then we have experimental let's go ahead with supported click render image now keep in mind the first render typically is the kernel render and it's gonna take more time than usual however we will still record it and then see but I cannot get enough of this beautiful display holy cow this looks beautiful so this is done and this only took 1 minute and 15 seconds honestly that's much better than I thought so let's go ahead and render it again all of this is on the battery life this is not connected to the power so after this I'm actually gonna connect it to the power and I will see if there is a difference in a performance if we connect it to the power while we are working okay so this is done again and this time it's 1 minute and 14 seconds I would say this is in the margin of error I'm gonna go to render now this time I'm gonna go to preferences from preferences I'm gonna do Vulcan and then with Vulcan let's go ahead and see what the performance would be looking like so on Vulcan we got 1 minute and 13 seconds and that's for the first run let's go ahead and do another run as well and then see how much it would be taking for the second time this is done and the second time took 1 minute and 14 seconds but I want to connect it to power so I'm gonna go right here as you can see right now it's connected to the power and it's saying that right here at the very bottom we are at the battery status plugged in we are charging and you can see the cable right here now here I would like to do something different as well so instead of going balanced I would like to go plugged in and then best performance so best performance possible and even on battery let's do best performance possible so right now I do have my display graphics as OpenGL and then with OpenGL here I have cycles and with cycles I'm gonna do supported and then I'm gonna go ahead and render image and this time we are using best of performance and we have the machine plugged in I did close everything and reopened it so we will not take the first run into account because this will be as the kernel run so the first run is done and it took 1 minute 18 seconds and that's to be expected because it's the kernel run we will go ahead and then run it again and then this time it should not be the kernel run and we should be able to get a better number as well Okay, so the second time was done and it's 1 minute and 20 seconds. I want to see if the machine is warm at all. And no, the machine is not warm at all and it's very cold to the touch. Barely anything warm with it. And that is a good thing. Now what I would like to do, I would like to go and try experimental and then see if that would make any difference of any kind. Now the device is set to GPU. After that I want to set it to CPU and see if that would make any difference. But let's go ahead and first just double check we are on the right options and everything as it seems that we are so let's go ahead and then uh, go ahead and click render okay so this took one minute and 17 seconds with the experimental i'm gonna go ahead and change it from gpu to cpu and then let's see if that's gonna give us anything that is different okay so this is done and i cannot get enough of this beautiful display my man and there is one minute and 20 seconds in a general sense everything seems to be in the ballpark of 1 minute to 14 seconds and then 1 minute and 20 seconds seems like this is basically where the machine is at now this is Vulcan and we're gonna try Vulcan with the GPU compute with the experimental and then we're gonna see if that's gonna make any difference but it seems like with every test we have done thus far in a general sense we're looking at 1 minute and some subset of 13 seconds to 20 seconds and if fluctuate up and down you can compare that with what you have and then you can decide whether that is good for you or bad for you and there is another machine that I would like to bring to your attention that has a similar price to this however that machine has an RTX of 3050 and it's made by HP as well and that would be the HP Victix and that device has an RTX 3050 6 gigabyte version and then the performance is quite different I recommend that you watch that video there is the review on the channel and then you can 
and take a look into that and see if that is good for you but again we are talking about two different audiences in terms of this device and in terms of the RTX 3050 HP Victus device as well because I believe those are meant for two different people this is more meant for students programmers for example for me as a computer scientist this, as such a device would be great as well that does not mean that you cannot use a blender on it because as we can see right now one minute and 19 seconds and all of that what I would like to do in the future is maybe just have Maya and then have ZBrush and actually work and not only run like rendering is great yes but it would be really nice to see how it actually works when you connect let's say a tablet such as the Huion Frigo and Spyro medium which there is a review for on the channel if you want to check that out and maybe have ZBrush and try to create something and see how that works these are my impressions and my initial review of this beautiful gorgeous device